Ever since I was little, I've always been interested in art. I would doodle in my planner, on my worksheets, a lot of things that you see art kids at school do. And in 2020, I started getting into figure drawing and sort of just trying to find online courses that elevated my art from a hobby to rather something that there's certain principles that you have to follow. And I started viewing it more as a career. I first started formal training in art around two years ago when I learned acrylic painting with my private art teacher. And upon learning acrylic painting and seeing formal art fundamentals for the first time, I wanted to sort of combine it with the current modern art mediums that we have today. So in my high school graphic design class, I learned how to use Adobe Photoshop. And there's a lot of cool effects that you can have in Adobe Photoshop, a lot of glowing mediums that you probably wouldn't see in a lot of oil or acrylic pieces just because real paint needs to have metals to achieve certain like effects like luster or like big contrast. The next distinguished award for youth art goes to Lola Yan for Memento Mori. Is Lola Yan with us tonight? Is she here? Oh, yeah. yeah, she is here. Come on up. Congratulations. Most of my art is inspired from my personal thoughts or life experiences. So I have a sketchbook and, you know, whenever I go to coffee shops or I see like a cute dog or subjects that I think are interesting, I just sketch it down real quickly. But my work, Memento Mori, is actually part of a portfolio I made last year. The art piece's theme is about accepting death, which is why there's like two skeletons reaching out to each other. It's not something that should be feared, but rather something that you should take in with grace. I think a lot of people, especially with Memento Mori, they really like discovering the little details in the background. Because the first thing you see is probably the two skeletons and then the clock in the right corner. But I did add many little elements in the back, like the rays shooting out of the earth. And there's also little skulls. And I had some melting clocks in the background as well, which is inspired by um, surrealist artists. And I think people really enjoy just taking a look at it for the first time. And you look at it the second time and you discover Oh, there's a lot more things that I also missed. And I think people also think about how death is as a theme. Maybe they've suffered grief before. Thinking about a painting that depicts death as acceptance can really stick with a lot of people. My experience with Art Venture has been really fantastic. It's been a great way for young artists like me to show my works. But I would say it's a great program for adult and young artists, and I encourage everybody to join. Join for the sake of it. If you're here, that means you know, you're already enough. You already did a lot. But I felt very ecstatic. I couldn't believe that my name was called. Just hearing your name and hearing it announced over all the speakers and everybody clapping and then like, cameras, people uh, photographing you. It's definitely um, a very exciting experience, one that you know, I'll remember for a long time. Mm -hmm.